can sure feel as it. it progresses. You can feel the we'll heater. We'll feel it. We'll feel a little bit more. <laughs> FDR in it over here. I'm getting tucked away. I'm putting this blanket on. The full initial, body, hey, the initial length. globalist. Uh, take out the full body length. You and this candle, you're obsessed with it. I love lit it. it. And we are so talking about it. I love it. Love it. <sighs> so this is James here. It's Matt. How you guys doing? Nice to see you for the blank program. For the don't for, have a name yet. For whatever this is called. Yeah, exactly. Whatever we're doing. Whatever this is. Ooh. How are you enjoying your hot lemon water? Hot lemon water. It's delicious. Delightful. It's room temp. <sighs> Something's got to give you life it's out here. It's room temp now. Yeah, it probably is. 98 degrees. Uh, 10 seconds ago. We can see our breath ready. Already see down that? 27 points. <laughs> Man, it's a little chilly in here. Yeah, it is. But you know, we're going to persevere. We're going to go ahead. Power through. We got three cameras now. That's a little intimidating. Pretty intense. It is. At first, I was like, oh, why am I feeling so? It's because I'm literally looking at three different cameras right now. <laughs> Look this, at that. This is some This is some production values. Yeah, it's crazy. This is to think of three cameras shooting video at the same time. Right? I have I have too many eyes on me, too electronic eyes on me. I have enough as it is, right? I have enough as it is. I mean, do you? I don't know. Uh, you got an Amazon dot? No, actually, at work, they're installing these, like, giant screens um, where um, instead of menus at my place of work, they're giant screens. Where do you work? Uh, Whole Foods, actually. Okay. That helps. And you can, uh, you, can, you can talk to Alexa. Oh, sure. <laughs> And so like, product for, integration. For, exactly. So for the holidays, you can be like, hey, Alexa, where's the cornbread? And she'll be like, aisle, you know, 25. Do you also want one pound of grass fed ground beef? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Giving you some suggestions, all that shit. But it's always listening. It's another electronic eye that is always listening to you. Yeah, well, there's plenty at this point. I mean, again, there's three over there that I turned on myself. Two, three. Uh, not including. And it's funny because their phone, the cell phone in the room, which is of course also recording. You this, got it. And I'll try to get a backup copy of the audio, if at all possible, from uh, the pocket. At least when you're recording, pocket perspective you got on your phone. You're getting your data. You're getting your data your own self, as well as everybody else, right? Mm -hmm. At least that's yours as well as putting out there to Instagram slash Facebook and just you know letting them have it. It's lots of ways. It's all about GPS. Your clothing is beautiful. May Thank I you. Say. Yeah. Dear Lord. Yeah. It's like you have some sort of yarn. It's almost like I have three cameras on me, and I had a feeling that I'd have to look somewhat uh, nice. I didn't think I had that much. I'm wearing basically what I wore home from work. You thought of the three cameras. I thought about what I need to look like. That's that's the that's <laughs> that the, hat too. That hat the dynamic here. Pops. Yeah. That hat fucking pops. If I've ever seen a hat pop, I love green. That's my favorite color. Oh really? That hat. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. nice. You can have it. I'll give it to you. Excellent. After this, this is your new winter hat. No, you should just give me half. You keep half, and we'll both we'll be sort of <laughs> sort of cold at all times. But it's more of an ascot. I just kind of we'll have my pocket. Together. Why do you have half a hat? In you your can pocket? make my. You're gonna make my hat half into a pocket square. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. what you're gonna do with that. Well, I can't wear it like more of like a yarmulke. If it's like part of my head, you know, it's half of it. You know. Not cool. Austin's not into it. Mm, fair I'm enough. Fifty percent not into that. Comment, fair enough. But fair enough. I'll let it slide. Austin's behind the cameras over there. You know, you have it worse off because you can see the LCD screens to see what's being shot. So mm, like, yeah, Uber. yeah. How it look? How it's looking? Matt's framed very well. Nice. You're right on that line. Matt's always on now that line. Now you're off frame. Shit. Tell me something I don't know. Get out of here. With <laughs> Matt's that. always on Get that line. Here. How do you feel about this Alexa that's being integrated into your workplace? Oh, it's just silly, right? It's silly. It's just always recording. It's always listening. And I'm, I'm a very paranoid. Like, wow. It's like every time someone says, "Hey Alexa," right? It's gonna beep beep. It's just very interesting. Do you ever think yeah. of getting like a Google or an Apple product to like piss everyone off at work? Like, hey no. Google, play no. the Go Go's. No, not like that. No. I've, I've, I like the Echo, the Dot, all that stuff. I don't really need that in my house. No, I don't. I'm not I don't need that. that. I don't need like uh, the home automation. As cool as it sounds and as interesting it is, it is. That's just not. I don't need microphones listening to me. Yeah, not fully. Siri Washing and I machine. are not on a good relationship. Go. No, we don't get along. Yeah, she listens. I don't do as much talking as she wants you know giving the proper directions what information i'm trying to seek basically siri can never do what i really want it to do so right it's very it's, it. it's a little more basic than uh you know what i mean you want it to be like hey you know ask exactly it set an alarm right what what temperature is it outside do you want celsius or fahrenheit you know what's nice i need a to, to date things so I need to know like what's 21 days from now so you're like hey what's 21 days from now and I'll be like oh yes, hey that's a Siri that's one of your that's series one, and she tells me what's <laughs> what's seven days from now what's you know <laughs> oh it's it's the 20 what whatever the of, yeah yeah it's an interesting little what feature what else do you use Siri for you got, you've severely piqued my interest that's it 
That's, that's like, the one? That's literally the one, you know. How old is someone like so we, and so? You're getting like save the dates? Okay. How old is yeah, someone? If they were born this day? Right, you know. How old is, what's the age? Right, dude, do that way. math. Do that math. Eh, that's what Force it's there for, it. right? <laughs> that, that brain that's works, so I don't have to. Yeah, that's why I don't like Siri. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it too easy. It does. Mm. It does. But sometimes that's a good thing. Exactly. I'm not trying to... But hey, hey Alexa, what aisles is shit in? It's mm-hmm. not like you can like go around and you go straight to the product. You will meander, maybe find something else that you like, and mm-hmm. you know, like have the experience done straight to the pot point. Yeah, no, it, it's nice to have some of that work done for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. calculators. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing math forcibly. That's I, that's something I do do is like force myself to, to do math. Forcible math that doesn't yeah. sound pleasant. I, that's life though. I think life's not pleasant. It's like you gotta you gotta add up your own tip. You I'm know, just, don't get out your phone calculator uh, to figure out what twenty percent of forty eight dollars is. Isn't that what like computers and calculators and this progression is just so we don't have to do any math anymore? That's just what it is, right? Like we're just moving for more forward in time so we don't have to do any math at all. What well, yeah, you could say like you never have to do any work at all, but if you don't like move your body or Math exercise or do something, no, oh, so we're gonna lose that muscle, mental spirit, mental or physical energy. Yeah, I, I think math is is something you have to keep up on to keep like their brain connections together. Hmm. You know, like that that memory you, you have, you use it or lose it kind of deal. Yeah, hmm. yeah, it's like a you know punching bag for the brain. Math, I would say so. Hmm. What about what about reading? Four. What about reading? Four what? plus four is eight. Doesn't that sound punchy? Yeah, <laughs> it's very uh, you know. Eleven plus three is fourteen. It sounds like you're drumming now. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it is. Rhythmic, Shit, you right? Me. You I was know? trying to. See, I was gonna eventually start beatboxing. Ah, so okay. See. Get it? I'm like ah. <laughs> Features the punch. That's oh, wait. Right. Oh wait, you're just trying to drum on the microphone. <laughs> Drumming math, right? Also, I just saw hot air shoot out of your mouth. Or like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been noticing it like a little bit. It's fine in here. It's fine. Wow. That's and then now they're just getting us like hot breathing into proof. the mic. This just became an ASMR video. <sighs> Jesus. I'm going to chug this lukewarm water so fast. You should. You know, it was, just to be clear, it was nicer earlier. I think you enjoyed it at the time. I think you even said thank you for the glass of water. Right? It's nice, yeah. I keep saying it's lukewarm. It's fine. It's a fine. It's like, you, it's like you're lukewarm about how you feel about it's it. It's a fine mug of water. Well, it was nicer when it was hot, and now it's lukewarm, so it's fine. Okay. Okay. Thank you for Went it. Went down two points. Thank you the sound for it. it. Okay. Uh, two points. Six points, Gail. Interesting. Um, I feel like anytime we have an I get a free drink, I'm happy. Anytime I get a free drink, I'm happy. Oh yeah. How do you order stuff at a bar? I don't really go to bars very much, so I don't really order them. Exactly. You should be I go like even this, I go, more affixed on a single way to order something when you show up. What do you do? Bartender. Bartender. And then nobody You'll, comes by. And I go, bartender. You got the finger finger in the air, though. That's basically it. That's it. Right? So you're trying to hail a cab, to be yeah. honest. But. Get me your cheapest whiskey and a little splash of Coke. That's it. That's how I order my Damn, drink. Damn, that's how you order it? That is. I, I, you, recently, yeah. <laughs> that's how I've been, I've been doing it. <laughs> I want a shot of whiskey, but put a little Coke on top so it seems like I'm drinking soda. Right, right, right. Like the other day, I was like, no, no, too much, too much. That's, that's, that's Don't fine. mix it's it. Put, leave the soda on top. Yeah. Someone might taste just, it. Just like test my drink. I want them to mainly get Coke at first. Wow. Not like that. Hey. Hey. I don't know what you're capable of. I don't know what's happening. Terrible. I just got to finish this <laughs> lukewarm water. Damn. We got to do it off mic. People would appreciate that. Nice. Good work. Really emphasizing the fact that it's lukewarm. I know he hates it. Hey, you're... He's wincing every time you say it. Yeah, it's all, it's over now. I've finished the water, so no worries. <laughs> um, you've grown your beard out a little bit since we've last done this. Have I? Haven't you? Yeah, I guess. I suppose I haven't. I yeah. I, I was positing that you did. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Not, not necessarily intentionally. More, I just like yeah, it's hanging out. I mean, it was November. Right. I guess. So now's the time. Yeah. Have you done no shave Novembers? Mm, not intentionally. Not intentionally, but like you know, oh, I guess I did not shave for the entire month of, of November, so that's you know. Well, that counts, man. You get the credit. Yeah. How about you? Have you ever you get the medal? I remember your I think your one luscious year, beard two years ago. Yeah, you can have a luscious pretty, beard. Yeah. Well, again, I've done it also, you know, multiple times without specifically calling it a no shave November. Hey, actually, can you say you're doing no shave November if you don't shave in November, but you start the month with beard hair? Hmm. Like or you, you have, have to do it from scratch, like shave it all off and then right. 
What if you have like a full foot long beard and you're right. like, oh yeah, I'm doing no shave November. Yeah. People fucking laugh. They're like, yeah, for 12 years. <laughs> right. <laughs> no kidding. Aren't you always? Yeah, right. I guess you're kind of, you're, you're not really being totally honest at that point with that one. But like this, like I've just left it. I let it grow. I just don't know if it's in the rules. Yeah. yeah no, I've also just let it grow. But that's I not was true. on vacation. I didn't have a. Sometimes I've got to shave these it. ones because these get a little long, you know, on the sides and it gets a little weird. You, you got to know. know where to cut things off. And, you know. Is there a specific but, rule set? Or no yeah, shave. Yeah, if you're gonna be wearing headphones as big as Matt's here, you gotta have a nice <laughs> big part you shave. A connect like, to show like a big, <laughs> a big I space had, between the headphone and your beard. I wish I had a gives facial chin. definition. You know, it's like a pretend like I have a chin, which is why I have a beard, just so I can pretend I have a chin. <laughs> that's true, actually. When you have a beard, your chin seems a little. But that's why it's long beefier. and pointed too, and also because I like to pretend I'm Jafar and I can kind of twirl it. You know. Uh. <laughs> Randy's hating this right now. She's like <laughs> cringing. She's not, so she's not into, the, into the beard. No, I know she. No, she appreciates it. She's like I compare myself to Jafar. She appreciates it. She um. She's never sent it a love letter. <laughs> I'll say that. You know, Indeed. she's Indeed. looked at it, never taken a photo of it. Let's yeah, say she, that she likes me. She doesn't necessarily like the beard, right? It's like uh, it's it's part and parcel. You got to get the two together. But I think just everything has a shelf life. That's the thing with beards. That's what's wrong with them. You know, yeah. it's no shave November, and it's like, you know, I'll not shave before New Year. Every like so three or four years, New Year, I'll just be like, it. and I'll just shave it all off. Yeah. And then I'll look it's at how, myself. That's how you tell time, right? right? You don't use calendars famously. <laughs> yeah, you immediately you look, regret it. Yeah. You shave. look in the mirror. Oh, I look in the mirror and just, it's just, ugh, it's terrible. It's god awful. It's like, who the hell is that human? Have you ever shaved though and been like, what the fuck were you thinking? Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, right? The no. second you shaved, you're like, what the fuck? Maybe was like going on two, two you had years that thing ago? on your face. Yeah. Oh, like happy that it's gone? Yeah. No, never. Never. Never it's always appreciated been, it. It's always been like, why did you do that? Where'd that chin go? You should just get a soul patch. Mm, yeah, I, I've done that, but still, it's or like, like that's weird. Uh, no, what's it called just underneath the chin? Oh, this? Uh, if it's right. not here at all. Goatee? No, no this, this no, is it's just like the a... bottom. Chin hair. Chin. Yeah, that's actually chin the, hair. Just leave the chin An actual chin. beard is just, just under your chin. It's like a little, like a little patch. No here. lip hair. Nah, I don't know. No chin hair. I feel like it's too just good. Neck hair. My face is it's just that's it. This is it forever. Somebody saw me when I first started growing it out in college, and I was like, oh, "What do you guys? What do you guys think of this?" It comes a formative moment. He's just like, Sweet "That's beard. it forever," and I was like, "It is right." He's like, "Yeah, I don't. That's it." <sighs> Wait a minute. And that was Obama, right? <laughs> Wait a when minute. You met Obama. You're telling me that someone just said, "This is your. This is it. This, this is, is who you look. are now. This is what you look like now." And yeah. it was like I knew it, and then it was just. It was a moment you shared. You both could realize it. We both nodded and was like, this is your look. What, did you just shave it for the first time or something? No, it was uh, like I started growing it out for the first time where it became like a thing. Where it How was long like, did oh, it take? Babe. Like a day or like four and a half months? It takes a minute. It takes a minute. This isn't, uh, it takes a while to grow. How much do you, uh, how much do you take care of that beard? Not, trim, trim that thing. Not very much. How long does it take you? Because I know you grow, yours just like billows out when it can. It, it can billow. But it's mainly that neck below, I feel like. Mm. You know what I mean? It's not like the lip. Actually, it comes out fine on the lip. It's mainly the high, the high cheek. The high cheek. Below. There's something, you know, talking about, about shaping high cheek. your chin. <laughs> yeah, Austin's got pretty sweet. Martin Van Buren cheek. back yeah. over there. Every, you know, it's beard season right now. This is it. We're in the thick of it. That's why it's premium discussion topic. Absolutely. Right beards. Let's go. Uh, it can definitely extend your extend your chin for pretty much anyone because eventually any beard hair gets that long. You collect it in the center mm -hmm. and it just gets longer and longer. But it's the beard hair on the sides that can make your like chin seem wider. Wide. You have that big wide mouth. Yeah. Like in your right under the lamb chops, you know, right under the hardcore sideburns. Right. If you had some thick ass just hair, like, it makes you like just square up that jaw. No. I like, That's I a like whole a, other type of beard. I can't. I can't do that first of all. But then I get that point. Right. <laughs> that guy, that guy's got exactly what you're talking about, though, right? Look at Hawaii. He's wide. got thick growth. Yeah, you know, he's the only. Don't, don't. Sorry. He's the only person not on camera. We got three cameras. Do on I have us. to walk? You know, I did this. You know, set. Yeah. <sighs> you oh, yeah, like this. Austin. If you look at Austin, it's, it's good to have mystery, though. It is good to have mystery in that way. People want to see. People want to know. Yeah. Or they can watch episode two. <laughs> but well, they won't see my juggling act I'm doing right now. I'm gonna to start to do this with uh, nine cameras. I'm just gonna show you the grid of three by just, three. All and I have like a small drone time. floating around us as well. <laughs> it's also gonna be like a home security system. You can click on the photo and you know, like click, click, enlarge. Click, you can look at the camera angle. Pick your own. This is videography. James's left nostril. That kind of. <laughs> oh well, definitely have a couple niche camera angles. Some sweet, sweet angles. The under the table. 
You want the nostril? You want the crotch shot? Which one are you actually going for at this point? The restless leg. So you just see the one person's mm, leg just going. I love that shit. Yeah. yeah. Just the, going. the dancing leg. I'll take um, ass cam. So if ass I ever cam. scratch my ass, oh. you can see my hand all of a sudden like once an episode maybe. it would just be the hint of my butt crack peeking out every once in a while <laughs> you look you want a flashback because it'd disappear and then you'd look back at it and it was totally there and like, oh, it's got it it's in got the it. comments people will timestamp it yeah right crack. it appears like a little gopher crack at 426 crack at 448 crack at 448 i think that would tag well yeah well those are options just we say. could also do bird's eye just straight from the top mm. Right Straight the, down from the heavens. Over the candle, over the tea light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See the hands. You want to light it with tea lights, you said? The tea lights? Oh, we could. I just said Jeez. over the tea light, right? Oh, over the tea light. Yeah, that'd work. That'd definitely work. I like our lighting situation currently. I like the yeah, also trying out some new lights. This um took a few minutes to hang, but... I think it's worth, worth it. Worth it. I feel like I look beautiful. I, f I feel beautiful right now, so... I feel beautiful. I'm so, I'm so glad I got to drop that this early on. Six episodes in. That's a number of the beast, by the way. So we're bringing a lot of devilishly Ooh. smooth lyrics at you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm beautiful. You know, Halloween's over. We did the Halloween episode. No, oh, no, shit. no devil Come talk. On. No devil talk today. No devil talk. This okay. is now, we're in the ice palace right now. This is all the cold demons. That's right. Let's talk about a different demon. <laughs> oh, I got you talking about another demon. No, it's fine. We can, we can. It's uh, it's it's something that's up to us. So you were talking about uh, watching Disney Plus. Oh Jesus! You jumped on this bandwagon. Yeah, you, you have to. No, you don't have to. No, well, I mean it's, it's got uh, the Simpsons. I didn't realize that. It's got the Simpsons. Now it's, I have to. It's honestly pretty shallow. You know, I went through. I looked at all the movies, all the it's, series. The Simpsons is pretty shallow. It's not shallow. It's just like you know when you look at like a Netflix or even like Hulu. Oh, you know, the service. Amazon, right? It's like they got some stuff. This is this is pretty much straight Disney movies, and it's tremendous. But it's like you know, no, there's a limit to that. I right. think right. Ten, it's it's actually in the DSM that you have a mental disorder if you watch more than five Disney movies <laughs> a year as an adult. Well, I'm DSM well, five. I'm well, I'm like off in the distance. I am well past that number. At the no, 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 if there's a child in the room, oh, you're fine. You're gravy. It only counts as a quarter. It only counts as 0.25, so technically it does still count in some way. Well, still probably. <laughs> Are you still in trouble? Upper limit on that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you, know. you should be psyched about Disney Plus then. Yeah, it sounds no. like you'd be saving you a lot of money or cool. time switching it's in more, and out DVDs yeah, right, or whatever the fuck right. you're doing. It's more a nice a nice thing for her, right? And and, yeah. and and I get to watch Star Wars, right? I haven't really watched the Star Wars movies in a very long time. Oh, that's right. You get all that. And I'm a big fan of those, so. Nice. Yeah. A little, What's got the best uh, repeat watch um, usage on Star Wars? I don't know yet. I feel like I got to go no, no, no. back any, through it. Any oh, of them? Oh, come on. You've seen Star Wars a ton. I probably Strikes watched Back. Would back be in the one. day, it was Return of the Jedi. I'd watch oh, Return yeah, of the Return? Jedi. Okay. Because it's got the happy ending. Is it everything. not still in the day? Are we not counting right now? Like, isn't that still your favorite? Or do you have See, a new yeah. one? Are you like a New Hope guy now? No, no. No. So that's the thing. I like to rewatch them and like kind of remember which which parts I like. It's been it's been a lot of time. It's been a lot of time, you know. If you love it, let it go. Yeah, it's it's and then watch it what, ten years later on Disney Plus. That's the point, right? The nostalgia, right? You go back and be nostalgic, and then you know, hey Clem, you want to watch the first Star Wars with me? You know, get to make her experience all that stuff. First nostalgia. Star Wars. That's yeah. got to be so difficult yeah. if you've never seen any of those movies to watch that old ass one. Right, right. No. But even oh, as a kid, you watch it and it's not. You to watch this one? You know, uh, perfect example, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The original I'm one. I'm listening. Geo the, the best <laughs> one, right? Yeah. So uh, Clementine loves that movie. Who She's does? watched oh, that. Great. But like, think about the way it looks, like the production. It's like, wow, this movie from like the, the I think it's like the Are you talking 70s. talking shit about this movie? The way not it looks? at all, not at all. The fact though that it was made for like, you know, pennies, right? And it's still <laughs> an amazing, it's, it's, ama it's an amazing movie. It's for copper it holds cents. up. <laughs> okay, it took a couple copper cents. Just like a dice roll I of money. three of them, handful, honestly. Just a handful of money. But you know, it holds up, no, it, I, it I lasts. Agree. It was some different color light bulbs and. But it's yeah, amazing. It's Vaseline right? on a lens. That she's just like, oh my God, this movie. Same with Star Wars though, right? Like, even though it's older, it's still there's- Even though there's it's vintage. Vintage. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Even though it's old. It's old as shit, right? 
Uh, I think you still got to go with one of the original ones if you're going to do the repeat. Yeah. I would say Empire. I, was, I said my real one, basically, when I was guessing yours. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, that's a, that's a phenomenal one. When The older you get, the more you watch that one, you realize that is the best one, right? That's the most exciting one. Yeah. It, that ending is very great. I, that's a fresh take. What <laughs> the ending? It's got a good ending. Well, it's it's like a it's like a it it so I'm joking. Yeah, okay, it is, I was like, course, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm sorry. So a big. I, I thought it was obvious. That I was kidding. Like, okay, no, I was like, a, wait a minute. Are you serious? Okay, fine, fine, no, fine. Great movie. Because it this is well like tried. Sad, this is well ending. taken territory. <laughs> Other Star Wars aficionados. I'm out of my depth here. I haven't seen any of the any of the new ones after A New Hope. That's so what, I haven't seen eight. That's or, what I was going to mention is like the new movies, uh, The Force Awakens and the, the Last Jedi. Those are the two most recent movies, right? Yeah. And uh, the Rogue or any of that stuff. I've the, only seen like Solo. What? Yes. You saw Solo? Yeah. What did you think of that one? I didn't see that one. Oh, shit. We can compare notes. Yeah. I have not seen it. So Solo's like, you right. Can, yeah, it was good. Yeah. It had Donald Glover. He was good. In it. I, I like him in everything. Doesn't hurt. Yeah. Um, Woody Harrelson. Classic. Anyway, it was, it was good. Yeah. It's good, but uh, it was not something I'm like. Oh damn! I have to go watch the Star Wars movies. Right. I just seen. I've just seen so much. Um, I get tattooing. Yeah, I get it. You get it. You get it. You've been there. Hoth. Same. I get it. We're in Hoth right now. That's what we're, we're oh, Hoth right yeah, I set you up for that shit. You did. I. Uh, Spike. I just wanted to say that I think a big reason why people and uh, are a little disappointed with this new batch of series is because. They don't have the same powerful endings of movies as like Empire Strikes Back, right? It was good. No one got uh, their arm chopped off though, so <laughs> there was there was no. It wasn't that good? Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like they set up the ending of the movie as a cliffhanger to lead to the next movie? Is that why like? Well, it, it's the yeah. They show the cliffhanger. They it's show an, a to- it's like a toy an... commercial <laughs> and then <laughs> advertise <laughs> toys, a new Spider-Man suit, five, six, seven. You know. Boom, Cheddar. Um, I think it's more of like keeps the arc going, right? Like it's here's a, a penultimate movie for a trilogy. You're watching a trilogy, right? So here is leading to the next movie. It's yeah. not just like. And do you feel like the old ones were like that? You want to feel like a war is about to start, right? Yeah. Always. N- right. Not necessarily that, but like the the old ones, like Return of the Jedi. You're like, holy crap! Uh, Darth Vader is now Luke's father. You right. know, like there was Spoiler. questions. You know, uh, Han Solo's frozen in carbonite. Like, how are they gonna? How are they gonna resolve these issues? Right, this next Star Wars movie. I don't particularly care about any of the next things that are happening. Like, right? Like, there's no, there's no real drive for me to be like. Would you, okay? I got a, I got an idea for a movie let's go. series. Let's I'm looking it. for investors. Okay, here's a story. It's uh, ten movies long. It's a story, ten volumes in Into length. It. Uh, I'm thinking like two hours and five minutes for each movie. That's a lot of content. I like it's it. It's going to be a lot of content. Um, each movie, here's the thing. Here's what makes it different. What makes it edgy and what makes it educated. Oh, I love edgy. Different genre. Each movie is a different genre. Wow. First one's a comedy. Second one's a drama. Third one's a black comedy. Fourth <laughs> one is romance of some sort between people or objects or whatever sure dogs could be a dog movie i don't know maybe it's a romance and a dog movie an animal movie silent film thrillers what is the thread tying i don't know if i'm gonna do a silent film that's like a different type of medium that's like do a painting instead of a movie well just do a silent film and then i have like placards (laughs) up with text right you know what i mean like you can still do that Uh, you know but like Okay, no, dude, you're method. right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I should use this to innovate. Real stuff. I'm going to play a silent movie, yes. but then everyone in the theater is going to sign for the service where you get texted what happens in the movie. You can like have gonna somebody... going to text you the speech listen, in the Listen, have somebody in the, with an organ live in the theater just mm. playing an organ along with it. Just give that a real classic feel. They did that at I the like end that. of That's Despicable smart. Me, the first one. I just, sorry, I had a memory. Like in the first Despicable Me when it came out, yeah. you text the number that was on the screen or something like that, and you would get text of what they're saying translated to you on the phone at the end, end, end credits. And mm. the little minions were running around, they were doing stuff, and you would get text of what they were saying. That's impossible because I just copyrighted that 19 seconds ago in the studio. That's impossible. Hoth Studios. Hoth Studios. <laughs> <laughs> that could not have happened. I had uh, the rights to that. That's interesting. Yeah. The rights to that. I, I, texting you, That texting memory has you. been long since forgotten until right now. Hey, it, it makes sense that we would have gotten there at yeah. this point. I mean, at least on Twitter. It's like, follow Despicable Me on Twitter to see what happens at the end of the movie. Illumination Studios. The Simpsons but the, did the it. the proximity right? shit. Everything's been done. Everything's just been done before. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this texting thing soon. 
I've been to like trainings though, where it's like that, where you just like go on a website, you just have to go to a quick URL and then all of a sudden you're playing some sort of like group game. Everyone in the room can respond to questions mm. or give answers. That's neat. It's like, yeah, I know, it's like playing, you don't know Jack together or something. I went to the theater recently and they had this uh, game where you put your phone camera thing or at the screen and the screen was your, your device and you're like playing the movie theaters like backdrop. <laughs> and I was like, that's interesting. How was, did you try to play? No, no. Randy was like, you're not trying to do this right now. Do you want to try to do this right now? I was like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I, did. did. I didn't. Yeah. She's like, you're not doing it. She was very surprised that I, I was mm. holding back, but. I'm, I am too. I'm like, I'm like, so I asked more. Is he about to tell me why? It's an or? interesting. No, 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 no. I just was like, yeah, I'll pass it. But you're bringing it up now, so you, it's on your mind. <laughs> no, I was. You've been thinking of, about it. I regret not I've playing been that thinking game. Thinking about it, baby, baby. That's two lyrics I got in. I was just thinking the new. Uh, it's two. I'm yeah. I'm I'm trying it all. Yeah. I'm gonna be a triple threat. I'm gonna start dancing the next episode. <laughs> break dance would just like cut and then we just cut to a, a camera another another camera <laughs> I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have a foot camera down there oh. you know bum, bum, ba, da, bum, do some shuffling <laughs> do some shuffling i want you to like quickly get up and then go to another part of the room and then just do just do like on a green screen of course oh, no, and do like just, irish jig and let's just wear gopros like we're gonna turn this into face, to just... morning morning dj shit like shock jack you know we're gonna have like you know, totally crazy characters. Let's take it over to Matt, who's on the treadmill. Wild, the news. wild, wild. Matt, 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 Matt. <laughs> yeah, you sounded like you were throwing up over there. <laughs> <laughs> we would definitely have to get some sort of soundboard in the middle. Yeah, I have one of those. We could put it on the table. Yeah, I do you too. Just it's a sampler. Oh man, do a I want one with like anything. A fart and burps. You know, burp, fart. That's it. That's all I need. <laughs> those are the two you want. Take, take your. Take uh, your. That's all I need. Give me your Maybe request a chicken now. like. And then uh, okay. we can wah, set that wah, up. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, you know, I'm gonna let you think this over. Then you can okay. tell me later. You just want the classic. Oh yeah, I'll take the DJ horn. Oh. Meow, meow, meow. Nice. I'll Smart. take that bad boy. Smart. I'll also take dogs barking, of course. Mm. Uh, can I have the match game miss? Boom, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah, we had, we had to harmonize on that one, or else yeah. it didn't work as well. I came in late, but still. Uh, we should definitely think about what's going to be on the soundboard. I mean, I think who let the dogs out in addition to the barking. We could use the two like buttons together. As a precursor? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it starts like war. <laughs> <laughs> the song is coming. <laughs> gets... Rof. That's perfect. <laughs> Taking it. You can also yeah play with it like it's a tambourine or oh, something. Oh, yeah. You gotta... Roof, 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 roof. Man, there's a, there's a lot of new things coming to the podcast, it sounds like. I know. Look, maybe a here's name. My thing. Here's my thing. Maybe I, I want to try maybe an all. intro theme. I want <laughs> That's, that's been done, dude. People oh, have named sorry, their podcast yes, before. Yeah. People have made theme music for their podcast right. before. What so as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, the land's been walked on. People have already done a podcast and we're doing that. Boring. <laughs> that's exactly no. You you're onto the 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 you know the secret here that's not actually a podcast. Uh-oh, we're actually not recording it? at all. We're not recording. Well, we're, we are <laughs> recording. You guys signed your waivers, so I'm I'm sure you understand that Uh-oh. we have no, been recording. I, I haven't hit record. I just realized that now. This life just just, just gaslighting you. November gaslight. <laughs> November gaslight. Is that the name of our save, prog rock band? Save that for next year. Save that for an election year. The November gaslighting. Let's. Uh, that's a good one. I don't want to use it too early, though. I'm saying that's. Let's plan twelve months from now. Okay. November gaslight. Because okay, it'll you, be after the election, right? We'll have, we'll have met the Friday. Yeah. After what the are election. you going to be doing for the election? Do you want to hang out actually next year? I'm going to probably be uh, barricading my house, making sure everything's oh. locked down in case there's rioting in the streets. You're going to be counting Campbell's soup cans. There you go. Yeah. Going to have my fallout shelter. No, I don't know. Chicken star. Maybe we'll have a party. 12, cream of mushroom, 14. Fuck. 14. Damn it. This isn't going to last. Did wow. I, did I order this? Oh, that shout really uh, brought the... Uh, yeah, there's going to there's gonna be some fog out of your mouth or vapor. Um, so the ASMR thing didn't really stick. Do you think that's not going to be our podcast, like niche I ASMR think, podcast? I think there could be parts that are ASMR related. It is possible that you would come up with different parts. Maybe we should do a travel podcast and talk about your trip to Nepal. We could. We I've really asked you about that. You haven't. You I, said, yeah. You specifically said you're waiting. I think that's is this is a. It's already gotten that to that point. You're like, I'm not gonna talk to you about this yet, but man, we get on mic. When we get on mic, and we just, I'm just gonna throw it in there like I just did. And you're just <laughs> like, whoa, Nepal. What's your question? What's your question? How was What's it? my one great. question? It's fucking great. What's my one question? Tell me 
in five sentences or more. Sentences. The spirit of Nepal. Okay. Five sentences. It's like I could craft some serious prose. Like That's so. what I want. I don't it's want some like, like five facts. Then people I'll there are nice words. and the food is good. I, I want five more words? than that. Five facts. Five, no, five no, words. you robot. Right, here he goes. Fuck you. I'm just gonna make my sentences as short as I want. Um, strong, multicultural. I just realized like the intensity where I'm doing when I'm doing <laughs> multicultural. Multi well, because they're by sure. India and China. There's a lot of yeah. like Hindu and Buddhist. Crossroads place. Yeah. Cultural influences. Um that's something you always don't see. Um working together so well. Um warm, you know, strong doesn't always mean warm, right? It says strong, right? No, I'm saying oh. strong people aren't always known for their. For like, warm. okay, yeah, I'm trying right. To break like it down. I'm trying to milk hostile. this. I'm supposed sure. to give five sentences of doing five words. I'm Sorry. trying to give you some more. You're absolutely meat. right. Meat. I'm. <laughs> give me more meat. Give me the meat. Here comes the meat. Here comes the meat. Um. Momo. Most famous food from mm -hmm. Nepal. They're like dumplings. Hmm. Sweet dumplings, savory dumplings. <laughs> you can have uh, both. You, I, I suppose it's mainly like buffalo or something. What's going on? I gotta back oh, up. I gotta back game. up a little bit. Didn't want to. Didn't want to make it obvious. S screen but that's okay. Is he out of out of frame or something? <laughs> He's like, I don't want to make it I, obvious. I'm He's like, <gasps> no, obvious to the. I was singling. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> right. right. So yeah, what you're doing? I'm like, what? What's going on? What am I doing? <laughs> don't make it up. <laughs> Sorry. Strong, multicultured, warm momo. God, what's one good way to end this? Warm. I want to know Momo. more about Momo. Beauty. Beauty. Mm. Strong multicultural. <laughs> strong multicultural. Warm Momo beauty. Beautiful. I basically made a poem. Yeah, it's, it's almost With like a haiku, haiku or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish that was intentional. Sorry. What was next? It was intentional. What was next? Yeah. <laughs> that was intentional. That was a. Uh... Um, no, Nepal was amazing. I had an incredible time. I was there, you know, with my girlfriend to meet her family. Yeah. So, and they outside were outside of the, so welcoming. The, yeah, they were very welcoming. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, for first podcast, like actually came from Nepal. That's, Shivana's cousin. I was hanging out with. I like that. Our first international viewer. Shout out, Adu. Adu, if you're listening. <laughs> um, but yeah, for our first subscriber. That's great. You know, to to ever check out the podcast. This is when it's still in, in beta mode and basically right. Season, he season saw me one. like working on it and sending it to you guys. Yeah, <clears throat> that's the thing. It's it was uh, I give it up to people in the uh, it's like a, it's like a prototype. You know, we're still. Oh, yeah, definitely. Still, still figuring oh, that's, it out. That's going to be the joke. So it's, you know, it's going to be different every five episodes. Every so five episodes. I'm going to get the, the foot cam after yep. five more episodes from now. <laughs> the DJ I'm going to get the, the dancing uh, GoPro on my face mm -hmm. and also my tush. I'm going to have one. Uh, and I want to do one live outside with a drone just circling us. <laughs> I love that. I, I really want the drone. Dude, you have no clue how much I love that. Just like a drone Let's and then just coming shit. in and out. Let's you do know? that shit. Yeah, absolutely. The mic is attached to the drone, so it barely gets any audio. <laughs> right, right. Just gets, it gets close, that close to our face and our head. <laughs> just no, I know. Through. I know. Yeah, right. It's crazy. I can't believe Marvel did that with their filmography. <laughs> Great. No, talk over it. Let's see how bad it is. Mm, yeah, it's so bad. Oh man, look at this! How look at this beautiful weather we're having out here. Look at these thick trees in the forest in this park that <laughs> yeah. we're in. I like the the thought that you'd be like looking up, commenting on the weather, like ignoring Whoa, the drone. Cause, well, because wow, we're outside. It's windy for we're some doing, reason. We're doing a podcast outside. Can you believe this? How cool this is? <laughs> My hair is like whipping. You know, like. <laughs> Do you have any more Nepal questions? Should I tell you some stories? Yeah, so or? Momo, like what's, explain this this dish to me. Uh, it's just like, uh, again, it's usually some sort of like meat. It, it's like chopped up extremely finely um, with some spices, but in like a wrapper mm. and then steamed. Mm. They're steamed Momos, yeah. most predominantly. And they're in like, um, you dip them in a sauce usually, or they come with a sort of sauce. They're delicious. They're fan. You know, I'm I'm so glad I can bring momos into someone's life. So yeah. the fact that you haven't had a momo before, no. we should eat some. I'd like to eat some. We can either eat some tonight. We can try to eat some. Some, some place is still open. It's getting kind of late, but Wild. maybe before the next one. Yeah. Before the next, the next podcast, one we'll get one. I'll start with some momos. 
Um, I enjoy that you mentioned like it's a crossroads, like a multicultural crossroads. I think it's a very interesting element to it. It is. There's actually there's a I learned there's a law against like promoting religion in some way. Interesting. So that sort of prevents I think some of the beef. You know, it's a pun. There's between, a lot uh, Hindus of Hindus and Buddhists. Large, predominant like larger like uh, personality cultures there. You know, India, China, they're big. You know what I mean? I feel like you might get swallowed up. Nepal might feel like it gets swallowed up. Oh, it does. It does. I think have that going on to some degree. Um, how could you not, you know, just in terms of the number of people and the size of the land masses, but they've never been conquered. Nepal has never been conquered. That's I should have used that. I should have used that they've never been conquered. Well, that goes with strong though, right? They're Shit, strong. actually, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's part of the really they have these strong. warriors, the Gorkhas, they're like, mm. these dudes with these curved sort of knives. I've heard of them. Yeah, they're huge knives. Actually, her family gave me one. No shit. I got this sweet, huge knife. It's like dangerously heavy. <laughs> And strong. It's amazing. I, I, I the fact that I'm not wearing it on my belt I actually feel like you should be like, oh, check right it out. Now. Yeah. Next so you, time you have smuggled a weapon. No, so it's not, you can bring weapons back as long as they're in your carry on. Checked as long as baggage. You murder the somebody carry-on. at the end of the gate when you come in. Show that you're willing to use it. <laughs> Kill the humble person before you get back into America. In show ad- us. Prove yourself. Show us you need it. In addition prove. to this giant knife, I also brought a bottle of uh, Nepali rum. It's mm. shaped exactly like that knife. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a fucking bottle it's of booze piece. that's that knife and I have a huge knife that's that knife. Wow. That's great. Yeah. I have them already next to each other. <laughs> Just admiring them. Brothers. Yes. Yes, this success is awesome. Make me supremely happy. So I was just knocking my table. I heard like a da 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 da. I was like, Ooh, we're talking about right. knives. I got all excited. I was like, I trying to jump up. <laughs> knives. Lighters, knives. Slice and dice. Do you like lighters more or knives more? <laughs> That's an interesting. I had a collection um, of both when I was younger, so I want to know you. Did you really? Yeah. Interesting. Lighters and knives. Uh, Pocket lighters. Um, Pocket knives. Probably knives. You know, I, li- I would like like... I would like more knives than I would lighters. I could like a cool Zippo and that'd be cool. I wouldn't yeah. want like multiple lighters, right? Okay. Um, but like knives, there's like... What if you had to light four things on fire at the same time? I uh, it's, get a flamethrower and just... Douse. Mm, I don't know. Shit. How would you do that? You would no, still need smart. four hands. No, Matt's onto something here. If it, like, like, if you only need one lighter, only get one lighter. And if you're going to get a lighter and there's only one, get a fucking flamethrower. It can light anything. Just get it, you know... Or get Candles, one of those long ones and then your crank stove it up. And when just... the pilot light's not working. <laughs> Obviously, fires, charcoal, and uh, otherwise. Yeah, I don't know how I would light four candles at the same time. That'll be the next podcast. We'll do Experiment Corner. Well, you're going to make a blowtorch? Don't come to this uh, I'll place just get if you're like going to be making a blowtorch. I'll just get a hairspray with like a deputy <laughs> Oh, actually, shit. I'm so down. <laughs> and just go, no, I take that back. I'm down. I got, I got a fire extinguisher. Check it out. I'll get another one, though, before you do that. Yeah, just in case. Bring it up to code. Uh, we should get a fire extinguisher cam. <laughs> you know, put one on the fire extinguisher. <laughs> on the off chance that a fire does happen. <laughs> oh, I noticed there's a well, GoPro on the eaters. hose from the <laughs> fire extinguisher. Is it getting that well, much we action? Just, we just have so many cameras. Is it just clipped on there? Or is it like meant for that? I would like it if you cut to that periodically. Just yeah. like it's just the hose, like it not in use. So then when it Pointing is in down use, at the ground, it's like, blinking. Oh, they used it. Wow. Oh, I like that idea. Ooh, yeah. Let's do that. It's going to be unexplained. We're just going to jump into it next time. I wish we had the pad of paper still. I need to write also, down like these 10 extra cameras we're planning. I'm ahead. just going to put this in Evernote. It's going to give me all the words. Oh, beautiful. Evernote. Great. I'm going to pull all the, the ones that say next time and then just <laughs> take all the ideas after the Send time. that into the next next time app uh, yeah. section that you're not yeah. Hey, Siri, reminds me to look at the next times tomorrow at oh, fuck, 8 p.m. Hey Alexa, remind me. That's my experience with Siri, though. Yeah, and it's unhelpful. It, it sounds like you have a horribly scary household, though. That's what what kind of voices you got going on. Yeah, that's the people I imagine using Alexa. That's my really sounding like. Hey Alexa, um, do me a favor and order um, um, uh, s- smokes. <laughs> She's gonna say, uh, where's my carton of smokes, Alexa? What kind of what kind of cigarettes would you do? You think it knows the difference between cigarettes and smokes? I wonder. It's uh, gotta know. Give me a pack of smokes. <laughs> Did you mean smoke? What if they're English and they're asking for, you know, cigarettes? Would I don't, it, like misinterpret that? You think? I don't. I you know I couldn't even begin to guess what you mean. Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Getting the sniffles though, just, <laughs> just thinking about trying to figure British out what's, cigarettes what's even happening. Okay. Do you hear about the uh, Samuel Jackson 
Alexa voice change mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Uh, he, he's going to be talking. Else? No, it's he's he, be they, yeah, he recorded a bunch of, of footage and he can work. Of course. Yeah. Hell yeah. Would you change it? Oh, I, well, I would it's not. It's going to be one of those things you laugh when you hear it at someone's house for the first time. But I don't use but it then, enough to where it's like, it would annoy me. I use it like every, you know, so often. So I'd be like, oh, it's enjoyable to hear <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. Are you sure? Yeah. <sighs> Listen, Alex, motherfucker. I just wanted to say yeah, how many versions waiting. of motherfucker. Hey Alexa, how many days are left in November? Well, motherfucker, it's you got 10. 25 days left. Just get screamed at. That's it. No, I honestly think that the way something um, interfaces with you really matters in the long haul. It's imprinting on you day after day after fucking day. Right. So the fact that you even interface with this thing, ask for the weather, ask for how many days left, whatever. The slot machine. It's yeah. like making you think and feel in a certain way because of how it thinks and feels. How it thinks and feels? <laughs> Which yeah. is to say instantly and almost omnipresently, yeah. but, and then doesn't for feeling. I it do. doesn't feel, man. It doesn't care about you. It just wants to sell you shit. I do not feel. It wants my data. We notice you've liked Levi's. Have you tried Wranglers? There you go. Targeted advertisement. They're saying what gene are you, are you thinking about trying? No, what sorry. Genes, you go, what genes. Targeted advertising. No, let's go, da, let's da, keep da, on that. <laughs> well, it, just going back to that, you know, it, it targets like you know, advertising is targeted and more specifically driven to you based on all of the things it listens to, right? Sure. It sure. Wants to sell you more stuff. Yeah, it's been my experience. I kind of appreciate it sometimes. Sometimes. You know, it's like, oh shit! Yeah, that's a good idea. Fuck. It's well, always here. We go. Those weird moments when you Ching. know it's listening to you. I like was shopping at home. I was listen, I was reading a, a, a book by this uh, Japanese guy Murakami, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like a very, you know, noticeable name, right? So on Instagram, all of a sudden, like I talked to somebody about it. The next day, I saw ads for like books by Murakami, and I was like, "That's weird," because I had, you know, I didn't like anything on Instagram. I didn't. And it's just a very specific author, right? Mm-hmm. And the only way it would have come up is if it would heard me talking about it the day before, right? It was very like. That's not bad, but what if like it found out something that it could only know about if a drone was above your head? <laughs> wow, this this weather out here is just so not I, even this know, this is perfect was, drone weather. I was walking in the park, just taking a long walk just to get my thoughts straight, and then I started crying in the middle of the park. And next thing you know, this drone is following me and they're recommending the power of now by Eckhart Tolle. Excuse me. Isn't that unbelievable? I can't even believe it. Anyway, I bought a copy <laughs> along with two Tony Robbins picks. Tony Robbins. Tim <laughs> Ferriss book. <laughs> uh, that w- would that be one of the books you'd recommend me? Is it, is it... A Tim Ferriss book? Yeah. Top five books of all time? Uh, I don't know about that. I, like, I want the five Specific, through ten books. I don't want although you specifically five. want nonfiction. Uh, He's done a lot of nonfiction. That's fine. If you got um, fiction ones, I'd be he, fascinated. He would, what would your preference? I mean, Matt was asking for book recommendations earlier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but isn't it specifically you only do fiction and you're trying to do some nonfiction, or is that not the case? No, I dabble. I dabble in all, all sorts. I, you know, do a lot of fiction. But, like, you know, every once in a while, I, I, I love a nonfiction book. But it's got to have, like, an interesting topic that I, I am into. Like know? vampires or... <laughs> Real-life vampires. <laughs> a lot of, like, you know, uh, like, I like political history books, like history there you books. Go. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, That yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm done um, with that. You know, like, do a lot of a- history. Biographies are cool. You know, it's a biography I've been wanting to read is um, Benjamin Fr- Franklin. Oh yeah, I it's totally read to be that. Pretty good. I totally read that. It's supposed to be all right. I read uh, most most of John Adams when I was younger. Did you really? Yeah, when I was younger. Was shit, really good. Did you do it for school, like American history? No, or? I just wanted to read it. I read 1776. Uh, David McCullough, he's like a like a history author, mm-hmm. and I read 1776, and that was super good. I read all that, and I was like, wow. And then he did John Adams, which was like a lot longer, and it was really cool. And they ended up making that show about it, that HBO show about it, and it was really interesting. It was super good. It's a uh, what's the HBO show? A window to the past. It's with like Paul Giamatti. <sighs> okay. Paul Giamatti. Okay, yeah, yeah I know him. him. Yeah, he he did it, and it's like a, you know, one of those like eight episode limited series. Huh. But it's like John Adams, you know. Pretty cool. Yeah. He he did a lot of letter writing, so a lot of it's like his literal letters and. Oh, nice! All that I stuff. like when they have good source material like that. It was super interesting. We have to watch the uh, the sniffs, the hard sniffs into the microphone. Oh, am I doing it? I've been doing it. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> I've definitely done it a couple of times. I just noticed you do it once, so I was trying to. It doesn't look too bad. Nip that in the bud. The... No, Waves. it's not. Oh, okay. It doesn't no, look too it's... bad. No, it would still get you. Yeah. The sniffs. People. I'll automate them out. So you just like, you know, you lean back. AI you know, to the rescue. Yeah. Yet again. My, my AI. Sneeze. What do you mean? That's all me. AI. As an automation. Austin, Austin's, Austin's interface. Austin's intelligence. Come on. 
the fuck are you doing? Oh, wait, artificial. Okay, sorry. I, I program sounds for the podcast. That that computer. That, that yeah, thing. Yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah. It's a great book. It's cool. Whatever their... Uh, do you like biographies or are you not really into biographies so much? No, or? I'm a Disney Plus man myself at this point, you know. I'll do. Oh, wait, no, that's not. That's not the case. Um, I, I've done, I think, some biographies. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think what they are right now. No. Don't think too hard. I mean, you know, what? what's your what's your cup of tea book, Wes? Are you reading anything now? When you went to Nepal, did you bring I've any books? I've read some biographies. Um, did I read any books in Nepal? I did. I read, uh, sorry. I'm still trying to get the bi- biography <laughs> to figure out what Really racking the brain for that. No, because I try to read like a Frederick Douglass biography, but oh. I only read part of it. It's yeah. actually super short. It was just like circumstantial or something. Mm. And then, uh, it was good. Uh, and then I've like definitely started other ones. People give me biographies a lot, actually come to think of it, and I don't end up reading them. Because they're nonfiction. I'm coming they're like, to oh, he realization. Likes nonfiction. That's I don't know. Or biographies are just easier to buy for people or something. I've been given, this is embarrassing. I've read an Anthony Kiedis biography. That's, That's not embarrassing. That'd be interesting. <laughs> I mean, still, I don't know. Yeah, I read Hot Chili Peppers. We're amazing. They're a good band. Growing up, they are a good band. I'm just being like ashamed of it. Why? I don't know. I had just told you Isn't I read terrible? the Elton John biography, ah. so you know. <laughs> That's I, right. I, I just I just read that. That's so. right. And actually, this is good talking about biographies. I, I thought you were drawing that out of me, but yeah, no, I, I definitely read that. But I, it was good, right? No, That's I wasn't going there. It was interesting. It's not all about Elton. This one's about. No. Chili Willie, man. It's about the chili pepper. But I would totally read that. He had an interesting life. Um, Flea actually just wrote a biography too. Did he really? But so the thing about his biography, three more to go. His biography though is he didn't ta- talk about Red Hot Chili Peppers ah. at all. It's all his like formative years and getting into the band because he's like, and oh, people I don't want to know about that. And then I met my new accountant. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's like up to it's his youth, right? So then like oh, okay. he gets to the band. That's like Definitely the end an of it. Interesting kid. Yeah. He like yeah playing trumpet and bass. He, I talented. Interesting. Did you get that from the Kiedis biography? Like they talk about it. Oh uh, yeah, some of that, and also just yeah, seeing Being a fan. Yes, yeah, in seeing behind the music and shit like that, or any of those other like video based Chili Peppers. I think music biography lineage tracking. <laughs> I missed those VH1 shows, by the way. Same here. Like behind the music and yeah. all that kind of stuff. That's a Netflix show in the works. Give us credits. Yeah, Netflix. That's actually a really good idea. Netflix behind the music. Going going back and looking through bands and stuff. They can have GoPros on their heads when they're in like rehab and stuff. Thirty years later, <laughs> <laughs> they can do like an update. Drone footage of their rehab facilities. Drone footage. Exactly. Exactly. They can smuggle drugs in for them. Oh, it's great. We got it. <laughs> this is a. Did you see the Metallica one. movie? Speaking no. of like biography type no. shit. Is that a Metallica good? movie where like they're in rehab and fighting and whatnot? Uh, I don't know if I finished it, you know. Yeah, just I, like oh, this is a thing. Then. I don't finish everything. Sometimes you got to be able to jump around a little bit. Absolutely. Hey, your time is valuable, <laughs> you know. And if it's not worth your time, no. But it was it was a real laugh riot when I saw it. When I was fifteen or whenever it came out. <laughs> fifteen, yeah. God damn! In that age too, when you love Metallica, you're just full of testosterone, like. And watching these like fifty year old dudes just like angry and yelling at each other i guess probably it's just 50, like yeah. you never said thanks man it, i don't get like how hard that would have been i wrote that song yeah. oh just taking credit just credit and like who i mean you want. told me to play an e but i came up with like the feel of it man it's bullshit <laughs> it's bullshit that that was all you and you that took was credit. my vibe that was my vibe I always used to play that to get the jam started. <laughs> and then next thing I know, you put some lyrics on it and it's your tune. That's not fair, man. So I'm just saying this is uh, Austin's the band, uh, the bandmate over there is looking really uh, triggered a little bit. <laughs> Quite the and opposite. Mu- I'm in an I was going to say, mus- yeah, musicians are, no. they have all sorts of different camps on this, I suppose. But Everyone has their own little flavor to the gumbo, but it's, you know. <laughs> Everyone's got some. Flavor to the gumbo. Everyone dig it. Gumbo. Throws dig a little it, spice in the mix. Yeah. There's a little something in there. Sure. That's the best thing about it's, music. It's a good debate, though, because it's like if someone comes up with a rhythm, but someone comes up with a catchy melody, it's like whose song really is it? It's like, well, the Beatles broke dumb. up over I mean, that shit. If two pe- honestly, if two people are on it, then they both just get credit. That's just how it goes. You That's, know? That isn't that how it goes? And like perception of music is so funny, too, because it could be like 20 producers, one <laughs> voice on it, and yeah. it's like, damn, that person's voice is doing all this. That sounds great. This person is great. Meanwhile, they did a thousand takes for that one little right. voice line each, yeah. you know, and it's just. Mm-hmm. All right. No, not, it's didn't, not don't. Say didn't there, not don't. All right. And then say it like you mean it Pop this the time tea. around. Pop the T, higher. Oh, man. I'm just saying it's got to be a thousand of those situations. Absolutely. Say it like you mean it. You got to make that, that hit, right? You want to hit it. <laughs> 
Um, would you ever be on a on a producing team? A sure, hit, sure. Hit song producing team. Sure, why not? What am I think doing? that'd be a tough lifestyle. Um, I Bottle think, service in New York. I think you Vienna. Could, it'd be difficult repeating hits. That's what I always think is interesting. Somebody. Oh, who, the like, pressure would get to you. You're already letting it. No, uh, but like you could get one. <laughs> you could get one really hit song. Maybe you two. could. I could get five. But to get like multiple, eight, a greatest hits album. <laughs> maybe yeah, we could rock a greatest hits album. <laughs> be shocked. You th you put out three regular albums. The fourth album's the greatest hits. Is that the schedule? That's my, goes? that's my schedule. Or you label the first album greatest hits. I think an album should have ten songs. That's thirty songs, and that means you can put out one one greatest hits. Mm. It's kind that's of cheap. kind of just bullshit. do three CDs four, with ten CDs. Four albums ten tracks is the minimum for me. Do like a six track greatest hits. I have a question. Greatest hits. I think it's four albums in, not three. Okay. Say it's three to five. Fair. You can put a greatest hits out between three and five. Perfect. Um, let's say for the you know point of this conversation, let's say five. Okay. So five albums, greatest hits. If you put out another five albums, which are actually albums seven through 11, <laughs> uh, would you be able to put out one after another five albums? Is that cool? Like, or, you does that seem normal? Or do you have to put of. out another album or two? Like you wouldn't seven call or it eight? the greatest hits. You'd say the very best of. <gasps> and call Time out. Would you Ooh. use greatest hits from the first era? Um, depends on... If it was a real banger or not. My point is, I think you have to wait way more years for the second greatest hits no, album. I don't Five albums is a lot of albums, and like, what kind of albums are we talking? Right, about? But I was yeah. just thinking, are we saying like, albums or EPs? Because EPs albums. could be like four albums. to one song. Right, yeah. albums. So eight if you're to, doing eight to twelve, songs. if you're doing five albums and people are buying those five albums, there's definitely material on there that people are repeating, right? So you could do, and then too, not all uh, greatest hits. You know, you could a couple of B sides on there. Mm -hmm. You know, bonus tracks that really hit. You let out a couple singles in that I time. I don't know about that. Studio takes. Unfinished, shitty versions of. <laughs> I mean, they could have that bonus, but you know, you do like a six know, track, but... seven track, very best of, and then you have three bonus tracks. People who just rip bought 10 albums of yours want to hear that bonus track stuff. I think in the future, the most value is going to come from curation, though. Like, time is so limited. Absolutely. You really got to fucking sharpen that blade and cut it down, which is why, of course, we started podcasting with three cameras, three microphones. <laughs> Cutting it, cutting, really cutting it down here. Recording for over an hour's time. That's which, by the way, how much time are we at? Just checking. 55? Wow. Wait, we're coming in the home stretch. I thought it was. I feel like I, it, I wanted but I was to like, stop yeah. right around an hour this time. Yeah. Because we started late as hell. Yeah. Putting on all these blankies. Make all these nice blankies. And, nice and warm in here for Also, us. trying to make it warm in here. Um, can we actually look at what the temperature is? Like what it ended up being at the end of this thing? If you look at the, the ground. thermometer. There's the one there. on the wall. Oh, oh I'm. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We tapped it. We got five minutes left. What's the temperature on the wall here? Uh, it's looking like 45. 50. What? 45. 45. He's looking sitting down, though. So yeah, it's probably hold like on. Let me, 45, let me but it feels noisy. like 50. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, we're sitting in front of the heat dish. There is a heat dish under the table. Yeah, the heat dish. Shooting at oh, our legs. Oh, not the tea light that we're so using? So we're cheating. Um, it's a little... 48. 48. 48. With the heat dish, it's 52. <laughs> I can feel my legs. It's very clear. Nice. Ah. Uh, that's working out for us, yay! Nice. Yeah. We're in the home stretch here. We did it. Yeah. The next era. I can't even believe it. Season two. Yeah, it feels like it's been uh, ten years. We moved to the Arctic. Yeah. But uh, it's only uh, been one month. That's fine. It's been only a, been a been month. The last one we did. I know. It's good to get back at it. Things you know are that are regular, end up being the best things. Exactly. It's like anything. You gotta do it. You do it. You do it. And then it's just like, oh my god, we we it's, strung together six thousand hours of podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> that's your goal. I mean, I was going for 10. I was at 10th. Oh, wow. Malcolm no, actually, Gladwell. I was talking about those different ways we, like the podcast could progress or evolve over mm -hmm. time, things we could add. Eventually, ready for this, with the GoPros on our heads, podcast 24 hours a day. Wow. Our life is a podcast. Just live stream our life. And when we're together, the two video screens like merge <laughs> onto one. It's like, you and can then, watch both wow. programs separately. We're both just TV shows. We're like both a Quentin sold Tarantino. out. That's like a, a lot of content for, to give to people. Uh, that's the future, man. Right. Is restricting, like I said earlier, cutting down, curating, but also showing your entire motherfucking life. That there, but your entire life has to be perfect. There that's are the people thing. that do that. There's uh, there's definitely people that do that online, on Twitch and all that stuff. Who all just their time. Constantly live stream. Actually, uh, I'm talking. There's a I'm person. 24-7. 24-7. a second off. Um, if I'm in a coma, you're still there watching me, watching my hair flap in the hospital breeze wind. The this, Truman Show? This guy, yeah. Basically. This guy, basically um, that sort of thing. a gamer. He's a Twitch streamer, and uh, he was live streaming his time at this gaming convention. And he got into some trouble because he live streamed himself going into the bathroom where there were like 
minors going to the bathroom. Oh Jesus! And yeah. like people were like, Shit. "What the? F- are you doing, dude?" And and like he did it like twice, and people were like, "You can't, you can't do it." But it's He's like that. I just thought streaming. about this really funny way to uh, tape yourself pissing in the urinal. Oh, it, hey, buddy. Just um, that, but like, there's 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 all sorts of consequences to live streaming your life twenty four seven. No, of course there is. You just, but you'd have to you'd have to not do stuff like that. You'd have to not go in public places with nudity. This other of any uh, kind. this other kid, he uh, he recently uh, committed suicide, and he was a. Uh, which live person? streamer, uh, Akatika. Um, oh Atik- yeah. Ak- what's his name? Say his uh, name for me. No way, I'm gonna know it. But yeah, Atticus. he he was Atticus? a person who um, I don't know this person. Atticus Finch. <laughs> Atticus Finch. He was a, a live streamer from New York, and he was having some like mental issues, and That's but sad. he was a very popular live streamer, and he would do his whole day and do like outrageous things. People really liked him, Did and any... then it got to a point, and people was, were like was worried he, for him. Was he dark? Yeah, they were. In the... Yeah, yeah. <sighs> so people worried for him, Jesus. and he got arrested, and he he, went he was. Like, I would wonder because I, I, my assumption would be like that someone wouldn't show that, but. No, he was very raw and open, and I think God, that's what drew people that's to so him. That's so sad. Right? That's so sad. And then he, you know, and now there's there's a, there's a subreddit for him, and it's still very active of people like remembering him and like all this stuff, because a lot of the people that people liked found him found comfort in the community or whatever. Yeah, I mean, there was a, it was a very young age, right? I think it's uh, interesting. There's this, awful, this yeah. new uh, generation that's so into live streaming and all that stuff. These this like young that are just showing everything, right? Um. No, and that's my joke that I, we were, we're going to show every second of our lives. Let's like, do it. Literally, with the yep. GoPros on the heads, of course, licensed, trademark, copyright. But, like, we're, we're but of an age where it's actually Obviously, that would take a huge mental toll on your health. You go, you know, it would get you for a long time, every day, every second, every you second, did. you know, if you do it in a month, it would be hard. You could do 24 hours. Embarrassing stuff. Um, just times, get, you're not embarrassed, but you're not proud. Getting food, po- <laughs> getting food poisoning times on the get, toilet, and you're just you like, poisoning and you're just oh, and you're sitting working there, through things. you know, sweating on the, the just pot. Just doing your business. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Just yeah. doing your business. Yeah, right. Yeah, over and over. Well, I'm glad we ended on that. That really makes me, yeah. makes me so happy that it was a Perfect. scatological joke. Perfect ending. That brought us. I can't wait till I have the, the fart end. DJ mic so I can just be like, er, you know, on the ending. I'll put fart on there, too. Fart. I want, like, can along I get a the, series of farts? The, along with the rooster cluck. Yeah. Or whatever the hell you want it. The chicken. <laughs> Maybe a rooster crow. All right. Ah, say bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>